Welcome to Mr. Sim. Uh, and Boo. Boo, how you going there, sweetheart? Big week for you, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Now, first question this week is... Um, so, I'm not sure who to turn towards for advice on this, so I hope you don't mind me asking. Absolutely not. Ask me anything you like. Um, perhaps not about rimming again, though. I think we covered that one completely. All right? So, no more about the rimming. No, anything you like at all. It's fine. Ask me any questions you've got. But, uh, this guy. Uh, I was asked re this recently by a couple of girls I know. Basically, they want to dress me up as a French maid for fun. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't think it's terrible at terrible or an affront to my masculinity, but why would a couple of girls ask to dress me up as the pinnacle of femininity? Uh, I don't know that a French maid is the pinnacle of femininity. Um, I, I think it's a pretty stereotyped, um, sexy kind of thing for, for guys. So, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of figuring that they're just turning it on its head a little bit and having a bit of fun. Um, I'm presuming that you get the two girls uh, having fun with you once you've done this. I mean, is this a sexual thing? Because uh, if it's not, then I, I don't get it. Like, if they're just dressing you up. I mean, I used to like getting guys to wear mascara um, and eyeliner, but that was just because they looked pretty and I was a goth. But, um, you know, your romantics, all that stuff, it was all good. But, yeah, they, they, if they want to dress you up as a French maid and they're willing to provide the outfit and then play with you afterwards, that could be fun. What are they going to dress up as? Uh, have you asked them? Or are they just going to be nude? I mean, it's pretty much going to depend on what you do with the situation afterwards. I would suggest, however, don't let them take any photos. That would be my major piece of advice on that one. Because later on, you might not want photos of you in a sexy little French maid outfit with your penis hanging out. Just saying. You know. Um, now, we have another question here. Hey, I'm 18 years old and really need some advice. All my friends lost their virginity this year and I'm tempted to lose mine, although I said I wanted to keep it until my age, but my urges are getting to me and masturbating isn't working. My tummy hurts whenever I masturbate. I was going to lose it to my ex-boyfriend, thanks God I didn't, but all he wanted was butt sex. Uh, what the fuck, that shit has to hurt so no way. Besides, he was a virgin and had no experience. I think I'm ready. But there's an angel on my shoulder telling me not to. My friends say it, make it sound really enjoyable. I just need an another opinion and you seem like a pro. Well, okay, I'm, I'm not a pro. Can we just make that really clear? I'm, I'm an amateur. I'm an absolute amateur. <laughs> Especially when it comes to sex. Never charged for it. Now, um, okay, now... Just because all your friends have done it is not a reason to be having sex, okay? Absolutely not. Um, so, and, and, you know, when everyone says they lost their virginity, not everyone did, okay? Sometimes people fib about that one, so that's not got to come into your reasoning for having sex at all. Um, your tummy hurting whenever you masturbate um, just makes me think of really bad puns and stuff, and like, are you wearing... Uh, a ring that, that, that scratches your tummy while you're doing a bracelet that's scratching against your tummy while you're having... Because um, if you're not, maybe go and see the doctor about that one. Okay. Uh, there is no way you should be losing your virginity to your virgin boyfriend when he only wants to do it up the butt. What the hell is a virgin male don't, wanting to have sex, anal sex before... Vi that vaginal sex, I don't even get that, that's just weird, tell him to go away. Um, I get that anal sex can be a healthy part of sexual relationships, but I wouldn't put it as the first thing you need to cross off your list of things I've done. Maybe a 69er first, yeah? Just a thought. And yeah, you're right, 69ers don't hurt as much. Um, so, yeah, uh, uh, sorry, I'm still appalled at the fact that there is a guy out there who went, hey, you know how we're both virgins, let's have anal sex first. Because that's gonna... If you've seen my previous video posts about um, anal sex, preparation is the key to that one. Um, not rushing in with some inexperienced tool that just, yeah, has seen it on a porn video and gone, yeah, let's do that. Uh, anyway, okay. <laughs> now, you think you're ready, but there's an angel on your shoulder telling you not to. Well, that's simple. You're not ready. You'll be ready when you really want to, when it feels right, when it's comfortable, and, and you've got somebody to do it with who feels comfortable, who feels right, 
who you trust to look after your physical and mental well-being during the time that you're having sex. Um, and look, it doesn't have to be someone that you're going to marry, it doesn't have to be someone you're madly in love with, but it does have to be someone you trust and respect and who trusts and respects you. That's really important. Communication, trust and respect. I, I don't feel that you have to be in love to have sex, but you do have to enjoy it, you have to feel good about yourself doing it, and you shouldn't be feeling, feeling bad afterwards. Um, so really important to not do it until you're absolutely sure that, that that's really what you want to do. And you have to really want to do that, not think, yeah, it'll be fun, because my mates have done it, and it'll be alright. No, do it when you're good and ready. And um, in the meantime, work out how to masturbate it without it hurting, because masturbation can be good, and it can be fun, and it does require a lot of practice. So, um, look after yourself, and make sure that whoever you do end up having sex with looks after you too, and you look after them. Respect goes both ways, alright? So, your homework, as always, people, is to touch yourself. And if it's hurting, you're doing something wrong, find out what that is. So touch yourself, love yourself, and be good to each other, okay? Hey, Boo. Say goodbye, Boo. All right. Bye.